What's up, what's up? That's my wedge. Man, ain't no light in here. Let's ask my wedge, man. I, um, I got a confession, man. I had to do this video, man. You know, and it ain't against nobody or for nobody, you know. We let the hand speak. You know, we ain't got to big up nobody in the boxing game. The hand's going to speak. But uh, I know you can't see me on here, but, you know what I mean, y'all can hear me. It's late. I'm on my way in the house. Had a long day at work today. But uh, I wanted to say, man, I got a confession. For a long time, um, you know, with this Earl Spence and um, Terrence Crawford. You know, when I first saw Terrence Crawford fight, um, it was great. You know, I, I when I first saw him fight, it was some years back. I can't remember who exactly, but it was like his breaking out, breaking out there. He came out, and um, he did his little thing, man. He did his little tricks, his perpetual motion, his ability to switch hit, hit you while he moving, and setting you up for hard counter punches. He did that for a long time, and. You know, when I first saw him, I said, wow. I said, this guy's the truth. He's not even a joke. Not even a little bit. This guy's the truth. Well, um, as time went on, I'm, I got to be honest, I got a lot disheartened about his career, his, the moves his people is making. Because he hasn't been fighting people that I feel could test him. And, you know, in his weight class, because he's at a lighter weight class, he's able to get away with a lot because of his punching power advantage in that weight class and his leverage. He has leverage and punching power. So I kind of held back on reserved on making him an all-time, you know what I mean, from the beginning. Because when I first saw him fight, I was like, this guy's one of the best ever. But, you know... I still had to reserve myself after his career went along, and I'm seeing that he's fighting these same dudes who um, careers are already, you know, not all that. And the way that I judge fighters is not by the intimidation factor. I, I judge them based on what they did in their career. So if somebody say to me, somebody say to me uh, I'm better than Mike Tyson, okay, did you do what Mike Tyson did? Don't tell me about how bad Mike Tyson did this and how bad he did that and Mike really is overrated and this and that. No. Tell me what you did that Mike couldn't do to move boxing. What did you do? What did you master in your particular art? Well, anyway, Terrence Crawford, um, that was that. As far as this Spence fight situation... Um, first time I saw Spence fight, I wasn't really sold on him, um, not because of his, um, competition status, because he did fight a few names, and he did the same thing to all of them, he, uh, um, outsmarted them, and ultimately was a little heavier hitter than them, so he outpunched them and outsmarted them at the same time, um, but to tell you the truth, his to me, um, the most notable reminder of his greatness is the fact that he sparred Floyd Mayweather. And he got big ups from Floyd Mayweather in his camp. And he got a lot of people behind him because of what happened with him and Floyd Mayweather. So, when it comes to Spence, you know, from the jump, you know, he had, a, he had a place in my imagination. But then as time went on with his career, the same thing, man. It's like these guys are sitting, waiting too long to fight, you know, every year or twice a year or, you know. And then when they fight, they fight somebody who's on their way out or never was on their level of doing what they, can, what they achieved anyway, not mastering their own art, you know. Um, so anyway, when this fight came about, I'm telling you, 
up until last week, I wasn't even energized about this fight. I didn't even want to talk about it. I'm really not excited about that fight. But the thing is, even though they're both undefeated and they're both hyped up, you know, they're both hyped up to the point where people want to see one or the other, um, you know, shine some light on boxing again and and um, bring bring the crowds. But um, I say with Spence, um, you know, his career has shown me this a lot of disprovement, the opposite of Crawford, you know, but. I would always tell people that Spence is more heavier, thicker bones, and a little stronger than Crawford, and they're both equal in boxing skills, you know, so I think the the bigger is going to win. The bigger is better, as long as the bigger is as good as of a boxer is the, is the smaller, but after Maybe a couple of days ago, man, after uh, Spence fought my man um, Amir Khan, my Muslim brother, after he fought him, um, at first I was real skeptical and, and critical towards Spence, uh, towards Crawford, because um, I hate when people intimidate people based off of his punching power. You know, when you got two professional boxers, you know, I want to see you outbox a person and outpunch him. You know, I respect Mike Tyson. He was a boxer and a puncher. People think he was just a puncher. No, he was a boxer and a puncher. You got to be able to defend yourself and get yourself in positions to land those big power shots. Well, Crawford um, versus Khan. You know, it showed me that he couldn't really get in that position where he needed to against a bigger boxer. So it kind of proved to me that size made a big difference in that fight. And Crawford could have a problem against Spence. However, deep down in my heart, something keep nagging me about this guy, um, Crawford. So... Today, I wanted to make this video based upon what's in my heart, deep down inside. So, I'm going to let y'all know that I'm going to be, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And let's just say, if I shoot for Crawford, you know, why? <laughs> why? Because in reality, Spence's career hasn't really um, shown me a lot. As far as, um, you know, his popularity from Floyd Mayweather is way above what I've seen him do to people, skill-wise. Um, haven't seen any real, real, real unique stuff from him. Um, on the other hand, Crawford, this guy's like a magician. And... He's doing something so unique that, you know, not very few fighters. I've never seen a fighter do what he do. Okay, you you got, to be com completely honest, Crawford is like Pacquiao and Perno Whitaker put together. Um, he has the counter-punching of a Perno Whitaker, composed nice and sweet with it, getting back his power. You know, Pernell used to knock Jokers out with his counter punches. He was strong. He knew how to put that weight behind it. Crawford has that ability. And then he has that um, Pac-Man ability to where he's using his feet to give you all these different angles. This dude is very, 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 very interesting. Um, don't get me wrong. I, I've, I'm, I'm only being optimistic right now. I'm only being... Um, uh, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. It's not like I'm... Um, I originally went for 
uh, spins. The bigger is the bigger. As long as the bigger bigger is good is, is as good as a boxer, the bigger is better. The same thing Mike Tyson said. But in this case, um, when I really 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 think about it, and just be, I'm gonna just be a little on you know optimistic side for Craw- for Craw- for, 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 for 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 Crawford. Um, the boy Crawford. If I if I be extreme. For Crawford, and don't take it serious, I'm, I'm just saying if I can be extreme for Crawford, he's 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 an animal, a whole different animal. He's like Lomachenko with dangerous power, dangerous ability. He's slim, he's small, he's quick, he got footwork, he got head movement, he got uh, not so much head movement, he get hit. His head movement is probably the only thing he lacked, but he got uh, beautiful counter punching ability. Punch selection is a okay. So, in reality, if I, you know, be optimistic for um, Crawford, he's he's gonna he's gonna disappoint Spence. He really disappointed me. He hurt him. Uh, like I said, if I just go off of what I'm seeing, you know, and just be fair and optimistic and super um, biased for um, Crawford, Spence is in trouble because um, Spence, truthfully, haven't shown me anything uh like Crawford. Um, not only that, uh, only, only only thing Spence, he has better competition. He's fought better names, as far as what we know, as far as what the media let us know. You know, who knows? Maybe Crawford was fighting stiffer competition. We just don't. It's not in the spotlight. It's just not top ten contenders like we think. So, you know, I had to get this off my off my kid because I've been so negative towards um, Crawford. You know, because I'm a big skills pay the bill type of guy. Styles make fights, and if I go by the fame that. Spence has gotten from the Floyd Mayweather situation. He's got enough skill, according to that. He's got enough Olympic-style skill. And he's big enough to dethrone Crawford. However, however, if I show some love for Crawford and be fair and optimistic in his way, he's going to kill Spence because he has... So many gadgets. He's hard as steel. He's small and and very uh, tough. Uh, He has a great focus, personality and focus. Um, Footwork, stupendous. Um, Punching power, dangerous. Speed. Clarity and composure in his punch selection. Um, um, if I if 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 I mean I'm just I'm just being optimistic for him. I mean I I don't know if all this is really what it is because I still believe that the bigger is better as long as the bigger is a Olympic style fighter, which he is. So. You know, Crawford still has to make this stuff happen. We just haven't seen his weak side. I haven't seen his weak side. I've seen him fight Khan, and the only weakness I've seen is that he, um, his power didn't play a big part in, against a bigger guy. And he didn't go in and just kill him. Um, but, he, but to tell you the truth, Khan didn't give him 
you know, kind of kept him on the end of that jab or kept his feet moving. So it really, he, didn't, he didn't really, really trade punches with him. Uh, is Spence going to trade punches with him? That's the question. If I was Spence trainer, I'd be boxing and moving like a mere con. But hopefully Spence is better than Amir Khan. So that's it, man. That's just, I'm just real tired, man. About to go to sleep. This is a long video, man. Excuse me, guys. Peace.